They blew up the chicken man in Philly last night. And they blew up his house too. Down on the boardwalk, getting ready for a fight. Diabetes man, these are real patients that truly are needing to find a solution. And we cannot just continue complaining. We have to start with the change. Now, I made a couple of notes here. There, are, there is a recent study that showed if we made insulin available today to our society, we could decrease the number of admissions to the hospital by 500,000. We could reduce the emergency uh, uh, care visits that are replacing structural care by 700,000. These are real numbers and these are real people. of insulin has resulted in a growing number of people with diabetes telling their health care providers they are unable to afford the insulin prescribed to them, thus exposing them to serious long and short term health consequences. She's been battling with diabetes. It doesn't go away. People with diabetes can't take a break from it and say, oh, I'm tired of it. I will deal with it tomorrow. It's every single day of their life. Every time they eat something, they have to count the carbohydrates in their food and take a shot to cover those carbohydrates. So, or insulin bolus or whatever. So, you know, it's, it's a disease that's with you uh, from the time you're diagnosed until the time you die. The backs of patients who need it to survive. It is unacceptable. The cost of insulin has tripled in the last 10 years with no change in how it's produced, how it's packaged, or how it's formulated. It's unacceptable that one in four diabetes patients ration their insulin because of its cost. And it's unacceptable that no one in the insulin in industry will take steps to fix this problem. Drug manufacturers, pharmacy benefit managers, and insurance companies all profit from these outrageous prices. And they all need to take steps to bring the prices back to a realistic level. If they won't do it themselves, then the government needs to step in and intervene. 